I want to make one last point about AND and OR. So Python, again, like many other programming languages, evaluates ANDs and ORs using a slightly unusual type of logic. This is called short circuiting. And here I'm quoting from the Python documentation. Let's read this together. It says the Boolean operators AND and OR are so-called short circuit operators. Their arguments are evaluated from left to right. An evaluation stops as soon as the outcome is determined. We will understand what this statement means in a minute. They have an example here. For example, if A and C are true and B is false and you're trying to evaluate A and B and C. Well, remember it says we have to evaluate left to right. So it'll first evaluate A it will find that that is true. Then it, it will evaluate B and find that it is false. And it says it does not evaluate expression C. Why not? Well, it turns out that true and false and anything is going to be false. Because if I want all these conditions to be true and I know that one of them is false, there's no point examining condition C. So I'm making use of some but not all properties that are available in Boolean algebra. You see, in Boolean algebra, when I use ands and ors, they are what we call commutative, meaning A and B is the same as B and A, and A or B is the same as B or A. Those are the rules of Boolean algebra. And also, Boolean algebra tells me that false and anything is just false. So I'm making use of this fact. This is what's allowing me, this, as soon as I see a false in the middle of some ands, I don't need to evaluate the rest. Similarly, true or anything is going to be true. So if I happen to see a true in the middle of a sequence of ors, as soon as I hit the true, I don't have to evaluate other things. And this can be confusing because many of us know these familiar rules of Boolean algebra. And so when we look at code, that is written like this or like this, we might actually believe that they are the same. Here I'm returning m greater than 0 and n remainder m is 0. And here I'm returning n remainder m is 0 and m is greater than 0. And someone reading this will say, what's the difference? Both of these are equally good. There's no sense in which one is better than the other. That's because they are thinking of the equivalence between a and b and b and a. In their mind, those two are the same, so the order doesn't matter. But there's a very clear reason why you should prefer the first of these statements. Can you see why?